Okay, putting the new spring on. <laughs> so you get these rods, you could probably use something similar, but this is very dangerous with a loaded spring here. So this video is for informational purposes, consult a professional. What happened is you can see the, sh the shaft here is kind of a little bit boogered. And so what happened is as soon as I loosen this one, uh, I got about 30 quarter turns on this thing. As soon as I loosen this thing, it'd stop halfway, so it'd catch. It'd catch here, where it's boogered. And it'd catch, and I was nothing there, so what I had to do is I had to push it a little bit more. As soon as I pushed it a little bit more, it broke free. Bam! Got my finger smashed up against the side here. And so it's free now. Um, so basically, it's going to be lefty tighty on this one, so we're going to have to go back up that way. And we also have to hold this still so it doesn't move when you twist it uh, with a vice grip or a pipe wrench. Because uh, if you move this, you can see that whole thing moves. And then that wire, whatever, the cable moves too. So it's got to be, this has got to be held in place when you wind that. So basically there's just these two nuts that hold this thing in place. And what we're going to have to do is take it off here. Kind of let that one kind of hang here or whatever wired back up so it don't fall away, all the way down. We're going to have to take this out and then put that spring on here. And it looks about the same to me, I'd say. So that's how I do it. I, uh, it's, you got to be really careful because this spring is loaded. And uh, basically it's, it's one full turn per foot. Or it's like 30 turns basically. It's sort of sort of a standard. This is a heavy duty door, so it's a double double door. And it only has one motor pulling it out open and it's pulling it on this side. That's the side that broke, so I don't know if that makes any difference or not. So yeah, I had a, a damn uh, thieves got in my truck last night. Stole almost all my tools, my laptop. Um Bunch of coin, uh, coin box keys for uh, some coin out machines. Yeah, they, they really cleaned me out. So I'm sitting back here for about a year at this point because basically the way they cleaned me out. Um, but uh, I'm still working. Still working. Probably going to sleep in my truck tonight and just see if anybody tries to get in there because I think they got me on their hit list. So I'm um, just going to try and uh, see if I can keep the thieves away. Okay, easy peasy, right? I got the two bars to take it off, put it on, the torquing bars, new spring, but I got this disconnected here. I was thinking it was going to disconnect right there, but it's not. It's one entire pole, and we can't go that way with the pole, and we can't really go this way because that other one is in the way because we have another door over there. And uh, we don't have room for that. It, that pole won't go there. So basically, I have to disconnect this whole top rail and pull that out. And then I can lift this edge of the rod up and put that spring on it and then put the new spring on. And then I have to put the railing back. That's what we got to do. Lots of fun, guys. Okay, I bit off a little more than I could chew here, but anyway, we got this one, we got this loose here. We got this kind of hanging here. Um, and I think I need to go over there and walk that spring out here, take that off, put that one back on. It's getting kind of late in the day for me because I camped out in my truck to see if I could find and catch the thieves that stole my tools the other day. Um, but yeah. Um, and I still have to go out of town and pick up an electric range for somebody. And it's getting to, getting to be a pretty long day already here. And it's uh, it's only, what, 1 o'clock. Anyway, that's what we got going so far on this. I didn't have to take that all the way down. I just loosened it. Okay, got the old spring off. Here's the new spring. I'm going to double check the measure before you get too carried away. And it seems that this will marry up to that. And so let's see what we can do here. Uh, I got this coat hanger holding this thing up. I'm 
might want to wear gloves too when you do this because these springs tend to be a little greasy. So I got this little hanger here holding this thing up. And Tricky. Let's get on. Get it on. Just gotta thread through somehow, right? Somehow. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Put my little keeper back on, just so it don't flop all over. And there's that part. Theoretically, to make sure this pole is smooth, because otherwise these don't slide on too easy. I want to spray a little WD on this here. You got it. But that's that part. So we just need a hooker up here. Put this back together. Start winding that thing up. I think it's like 31 quarter turns. And, or, a, a, what is it? One full turn per foot of door. Okay, so that spring a little bit smaller in diameter than this old one. Uh, the key is to balance these, so we want to try and get the tension as balanced as possible. Uh, so, if you think you're going to YouTube this and like do it easy, there are a lot of variables here. So, uh, and we got a tweak roller here, I think. So, I got that on. We need to put this all back together, put that top rail on, and this little, uh, wire thing but yeah make sure you get gloves guys you end up like me the guy with 30 hands Ooh, the guy with 30 hands is here oh my god <laughs>